G'day everyone and welcome to Mog Boys Toys. Uh, today in this video we're just going to do a quick uh, Nintendo Switch games collection video. Um, so we just thought we'd take you through some of the games that we've managed to pick up since the Switch has been out. Which is um, coming up to a year I guess at the start of next year so we're not too far into the life cycle so it's pretty good. So let's start taking a look at some of the games. Um, first of all we'll go through uh, I guess those retail games that we're able to buy at the shops. Um, and then we'll get in and have a quick look at some of the download titles that we have as well. So first of all, um, whilst this is originally regarded I guess as a download title, we managed to pick up a retail version of Death Squared. Um, it's a great little um, limited edition pack that was put out um, here in Australia. You had to get it through EB Games. Um, so yeah, it was good to, to get a hold of that, which was awesome. Um, as you can see, if you open the, the game up instead of the actual cartridge itself, uh, you were just given a little download code, looks like a cartridge, um, but the code it was. Um, and then you get a whole heap of um, special edition stuff that goes in there. So that was a great little thing to grab a hold of. Um, finally, um, after that one, I guess we've got Has Been Heroes. Um, I picked this one up because it was super cheap. Um, I think it was only $10. Um, it was pre-owned. Um, I'd heard sort of mixed things about this game. To be honest, I've really only tried to play it for about 15 minutes because... I don't really know what's going on. Um, I guess bare bones on the inside, you got the cartridge and not much else, so um, pretty dull, but um, maybe I'll get into it one day. Um, up next is obviously Mario Odyssey. Um, got a lot of perfect scores this game. Um, I quite like it. Um, probably not a perfect game if I'm honest, but I do like it quite a fair bit. Um, and again, on the inside, they've at least gone to a little bit of effort there by putting the lyrics to Jump Up Superstar in there. Um, but otherwise just a standard cartridge only setup that we're getting in a lot of these Switch games. Following on from that is probably our most recent addition, which is uh, Marvel Super Heroes 2. Um, just your standard, I guess, fair Lego game. Um, not too bad inside, you've just got the cartridge itself, quite dull. Um, played the game for probably about an hour now. It's not too bad, I guess you've got the usual camera, camera issues and just the constant, um, I guess, need to, to break things to collect bricks. But other than that, not a bad little game indeed. Following on from that, we've got another one of the Nintendo um, releases, and this one's ARMS. I actually quite enjoy this game. Um, very different um, from anything that they've really put out before. I guess if I had to compare it to anything, I'd say maybe like a hyped up version of Punch-Out. Um, but the game itself, really good fun, um, whether you're playing with the motion controls or just the pro controller on its own. Uh, but it's quite good inside. Gives you a rundown of what the basic controls are as well as, obviously, just the cartridge itself. Keeping up with the um, the first party games, uh, we've got Mario, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so this is obviously the re-release of the Wii U game. Um, this one obviously includes all of the download packs, um, all the extra characters, as well as a good battle mode, so um, quite a cool uh, game to have. Turns the Switch, obviously, into a very good party system. Um, and then we get to some of the games that um, make me really like this system, it really makes it feel like I guess the Japanese gaming systems of old. Um, Disgaea 5 uh, Complete, not a bad little game at all, it, it's quite technical, um, can get really in depth, um, sometimes it's a bit too full on for me but I do enjoy playing these types of games, um, just your sort of turn based strategy games which are good fun. This one does have um, I guess the, the switchable cover around, so reversible cover, so that, that's a pretty cool thing to have. Um, from there, um, again, keeping up with the theme of, I guess, the old school Japanese consoles is the um, Street Fighter 2 Ultra The Final Challenges. So this is an updated version of the classic Street Fighter 2. Um, really good fun, um, great addition to the, to, to the collection and really glad to have that, which is great. Um, Puyo Puyo Tetris, so this one obviously put out by Sega, um, a combination of Puyo Puyo and, uh, and Tetris. Really like this game. Um, I've probably played this one, I guess, maybe the second most. Um, t Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild would obviously be the most used game, I guess, on the system or most played game. Um, but Puyo Puyo Tetris is uh, not too far behind it. Really enjoy um, having that game on the system, which is great. And then finally for our, um, I guess, our standard edition um, retail games of Super Bomberman, um, again with Puyo Puyo Tetris, this one really helps give the console that sort of old school Japanese feel. 
brilliant game, really enjoy it, um, played a hell of a lot of this, um, almost as much as Puyo Puyo Tetris, so um, again, a really cool collection um, to have the insides, as with all of these games, they're pretty straightforward, you've got the cartridge, for those of you that don't know, um, cartridges are quite small, about the size of, I guess, your, your thumbnail, um, they have, being Nintendo, obviously, have uh, put some horrible tasting stuff on that cartridge so if one of your young kids manages to put it in their mouth they very quickly spit it out because that stuff is horrible so now that we've looked at i guess our standard retail games what we'll do is we'll grab the switch here um, bring it in nice and close and take you through some of our download games so at the moment we're running voez um, which we'll back out of and we'll take you through and have a bit of a look so um, so Voez, which is a downloadable title, um, it is a rhythm game, um, quite cool, really enjoy playing it, uh, the music on it's great, particularly if you like J-pop and that sort of stuff. Um, from there we go across to Picross, which is I guess a, just a puzzle game, uh, really enjoy it, started playing it when it was on the DS, um, so now that it is across over onto the Switch I play it quite a bit. Um, next we have Puzzle Lines, which is another, um, obviously a puzzle game, I um, haven't played too much of that. Um, it was okay, but yeah, whatever. Um, then Shantae, Half Genie Hero. That was quite a cool game, um, particularly if you like 2D platformers. Um, it is uh, quite a cool game, and I was slowly working my way through that. Um, that one's followed by Sonic Mania. Um, I'm probably going to have to stop buying Sonic games. I don't like them. I buy them all the time, I don't know why. Um, look, this one, I guess, if it turns a classic Sonic, you're going to like it if you're into that thing. Um, but I just find Sonic games are just far too difficult to control and I just don't enjoy them. So that's uh, Sonic Mania. Uh, from there we've got Fast Race, Racing um, and MX. This is a really cool game um, along the lines of Wipeout. It was originally a download title on the Wii U. Um, they've updated it for the Switch. So um, really good, played a lot of that. Um, that's followed up by, I guess, two um, downloadable games, Snipper Clips and Overcooked really great multiplayer games um, unfortunately in my house I'm pretty much the only one who plays games so these two are quite underutilized in terms of um, getting the full value out of them which is a shame uh, but hopefully um, at some point down the track I can get a hold of it um, and really get some multiplayer use out of it maybe when the boys grow up a little bit perhaps um, next we have NBA Playgrounds um, this game's terrible what can I say um, Enjoyed it for maybe five minutes. The controls are just clunky. Nothing seems to make sense. I don't know whether it's because I haven't played, paid attention to it or, or what's going on, but I just struggle with that game. Uh, give me NBA Jam anytime. Um, I'll skip past. Uh, where are we? So Kamiko. Um, this is probably my favourite of the downloadable titles. I think it cost me like seven dollars. It is fantastic. It's a really cool little game. Um, like I said, for seven bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, so absolutely, if you guys have got a Switch and you want a nice little downloadable title, grab Voez. You've probably seen some screenshots that I put up when I was playing through it. Um, each playthrough probably goes for about three, four hours. Um, really good fun, really like it. Um, and then finally, in terms of downloadable titles, we have the remake of uh, Wonder Boy um, in Monsterland. Um, look, yeah, not too bad. It's okay. They've freshened the graphics up. Other than that, it's identical to the original. Um, so you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. But um, it's a good thing to have to play through um, and really is a lot of fun. So look, in terms of downloadable games, that's quite a few of them there. Um, obviously, it also includes the, the retail titles that they put in there. I haven't got a great big collection, but there's enough there to give you an idea that the, the system itself has got quite a few really awesome options to it. So look, what we'll do is I'll get up the, um, the special edition retail games that we've got now. We'll have a quick look at those um, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, so the first of the big special edition boxes that we've got is Mario Rabbids uh, Kingdom Battle, uh, the collector's edition. Um, really cool little set. As you can see, you've got the, the game itself in there um, and then you've also got quite a large uh, figure of one of the rabbits themselves all decked out in the gear um, again it's sort of a, a turn-based um, RPG in terms of like XCOM or something like that 
Um, it's really cool. This collector's edition itself comes with uh, the full soundtrack on CD, which is awesome. Um, obviously the big figure that you can see and also a pack of cards. Um, moving on from there is probably the most obvious one. I guess the thing you'd all expect us to have is the um, limited edition for Zelda um, Breath of the Wild. This game is fantastic. Um, played it for well over 200 hours. Um, one of the young fellas, he's only three, but he loves watching me play this game. It's all about monsters. Go find the monsters. Um, unfortunately, um, for those of you that have played this game, his idea of monsters are Lionel's. Um, I'm not that great at this game and trying to kill Lionel's is, is quite a difficult thing and he expects you to be able to do it at the drop of a hat. So um, I spent quite a lot of time uh, finding and fighting Lionel's in this game. Um, it is great fun. Um, the best part is obviously today the second part of the DLC, um, the Champion's Ballad I think it's called, came out. So I um, downloaded that already and already started playing through it but it's awesome to have that indeed. Um, as you can see those boxes are, are quite large if you compare it. You know, that's your, your standard case. Um, they tend to be quite small, the Switch cases. Um, it's more and colourful, but these collector's editions, if you compare it, they are absolutely massive. So, uh, very cool to have in the collection. Um, and look, guys, um, thanks very much. We hope you enjoyed a quick look at our Switch collection. Uh, we might do one on the hardware. We've got a few, quite a few Joy-Cons and things like that that we could do. Um, so let us know if you do want to see the hardware options that we've got. Um, also, we've got quite a few retro systems and things like that, so if you want to check out those collections, let us know, and we'll see if we can get them up there for you so you can all have a look. Um, other than that, guys, look, thanks very much for watching. Uh, like the video, leave some comments, subscribe if you like, um, and look, like I said, most importantly, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.